Hello Libra, welcome to your monthly love reading. This will be for Sun and Rising and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading will resonate with everyone, so take what fits and leave the rest out. Okay, we have Ten of Fire, too much to bear with balance. Someone's feeling heavily burdened here and uh, feeling as if uh, the weight of the world is on their shoulders, but wanting a, a different reality, okay? They're definitely wanting things to be a little bit more easier and be able to get what they want. Uh, reflection, being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity with overwhelm. The stress from this is draining me. This person uh, is feeling a sense of lack, very overwhelmed uh, as they continue to think about things here. Overall energy, Ace of Pentacles. This is about a new beginning, an opportunity of stability as well. So let's see what's going on in your energy this month. We have the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the King of Cups. So the month of November, I mean, get ready, Libra. Uh, you are about to feel emotionally fulfilled. Uh, as if your dreams and desires, especially from somebody uh, in regards to love, is about to open up and say some things that you would never expect, okay? So somebody is longing for you here from afar as well, and you are unaware of this, but you're about to feel emotionally fulfilled in every way. Okay, when it comes to their energy, Eight of Swords, Eight of Cups, Hanged Man, Six of Cups. This person is very overwhelmed in the memories and the feelings that they have. They're constantly uh, thinking about you and going over things from the past. Okay, what they should have done, what I could have done more or better. Uh, they feel like they've been trapped here in a sense uh, due to their own fears to reach out or move forward. They feel like uh, they've caused this and this is something that is burdening them because they did this to themselves and to you. Some of the Eight of Swords, Ten of Wands, again, this person feels like this is too much to bear. Uh, ready to walk away from feeling like this and whatever has happened or has gone up to this point, they need to release, okay? They know that the time has come. So let's see what's happened in the past here. We have judgments. Seven of cups. And the six of pentacles. Very confusing situation. So I see that you weren't sure where their loyalties were at. Did they really mean what they say? Were they really wanting to build something with me here? Or were they just appeasing me? Uh, they made some rash decisions or decisions that were not uh, good for you. They were affecting this connection in a negative way. Some of the Seven of Cups. The World's Eight of Wands. Yeah. Behind all of this, though, because they were acting so cold or kind of callous here, not really addressing the issue, uh, skirting around it, they really wanted to move things fast. They wanted to have everything just kind of handed to them on a silver platter and not put any effort in. So there was a conflicting energy here for them to make the right decision, to do the right thing, because they felt like it would be too much work and so much would be required of them that they might just not make it in the end, that you wouldn't be happy with them if they did uh, conform here or commit to this connection. Tell with the world card. So I see a sense of lack or unworthiness of love, uh, feeling like, They'll never get their needs met if they don't take them first as well. Hermits, this is a bigger issue than just this connection. So it's something that they've really relied on in their life because they feel like, uh, you know, the world is like a war without a gun. And if you don't have anything to help or protect yourself, then you're going to end up losing. So it's kind of just their mindset here, their schema. And they've learned something here in the current moment that they've really caused some hurt and uh, really have broken this connection down. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like I desire commitment. I desire that, but I don't want to put in the work to get there because I'm too afraid I might mess it up. 
right? So there is fears of uh, rejection here. And it's almost like this person, you know, pushes people away or rejects others so that they don't get hurt. Some of the judgments. Emperor Five of Wands. So how they treat you is really being in control. And they cause problems or could cause arguments at times. But they can be very frustrating to deal with and made you feel like you didn't matter. Your voice was not heard. Okay, so let's see what's in the challenge here. Let's get some more details. We have the chariot, three of cups, and the six of swords. So for some of you, you're dealing with the third party. I hate always saying that, but I do see it, so I have to say it. But not everyone's in a third party. Uh, this could be a mindset that they're dealing with here. And for others of you, this is actually could be distance or financial matters as well. Not having enough and not feeling like they're good enough to be able to provide or meet you at your level. But whatever it is, uh, like I say, the foundation's the same. Chariot, their focus was not on this connection. It was basically focusing on um, their sense of lack. They were always in this negative headspace of feeling like they were fearing the worst. They were never going to get what they desired. They wanted the end goal, but they didn't want to put the work in to get there because they thought that they would fail. And with the Three of Cups, this they ended up spending more time or giving their energy to other people or things that gave them temporary pleasure. Something that they didn't really care about what was going to happen about. But because they cared about this so much, they were so fearful how this was going to turn out. So they really hesitated on making decisions here with you. I do see there's distance for some Six of Swords chariot uh, that the distance could be far or a location where they can't always go see you and there could be some emotional issues of them feeling jealous or worried about losing you so they really retract their energy, they run away. Tell about the Six of Swords, it's just how they deal with it, deal with their, their fear. Uh, Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Slow and steady wins the race. So they really backed themselves up. They were trying to move as slow as possible uh, because they felt like that was the best strategy here. Okay, so let's see uh, what action they take. I do see they realize here uh, how what position they put themselves in. They put themselves in a pickle. And they realize that they've hurt you so bad that even if they were to talk to you, or try to discuss this that you might not want to hear them out. Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. So this person is finally giving into their heart, but they're about to reach out to you in a way that is going to be quite shocking for you. So just get ready. Uh, if this is reading resonating with you in the extended, we're going to find out what the surprise is, as well as what they're going to say moving forward, the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me, Libra. I love you guys dearly. Many blessings to you, and I'll see you next time.